Peter Butler, agricultural contractor from Suffolk on the east coast of England. Um, I've been using Agrifac beet harvests since 1998 and uh, this actually is my eighth big six, um, the ninth Agrifac sugar beet harvester. You know, everybody thought years ago that everyone wished to have a smaller machine on the, on the farm. I, the first tanker I had was the small Klein SF10 and as soon as I went to the big six there was more than enough work. Everybody seems as though they like the big machine, the big tank. That's the modern way now, not to have the trailers on the field if you can help it. But with the increase in yield, uh, we need a big tank to get round most fields. As with most companies that I deal with, I do get involved. But with Agrifac, I've got very involved and we work together, which is helpful. They listen. We've got an exceptionally well. The backup is, I will say, second to none. Uh, always pleased to help. If we break down on a Sunday afternoon, we can straight on the phone to um, report that we've got a problem. I'm not expecting a visit that afternoon because it's too late. Even late on a weekday, it's too late unless there's someone in the area. But it's nice, nice to get your foot in the door to your first call the next morning, you see, which is good. But they'll always come and they always answer the phone and parts we can go up if we if we need a part urgently i can go to march so i can get it they'll leave it out for me excellent they were always trying to convince me to have a pulverizer topper i was always nervous because they said that would be that would be all right in most cases most situations but i wanted something which would go in all situations when i first had the big six in 2010 the 2010 model i went for pulverizer topper and we were so pleased with the i think that's the paddles in the shears which save the day because if you get a lot of trash the paddles in the shears will keep it going so i would i wouldn't have anything other than a pulverizer topper now and in saying that another big advantage you don't have to go one way around the field you can go on short work whatever suits you you can go with the elevator into the work providing obviously you don't want to unload which is a very good advantage. The new type shears, we always thought the Gilly shears were good, but I do believe these ones are even better than those. So they're definitely cheaper and simpler to run from our experience. We've always been out of lifting difficult conditions, whether that's dry or wet. I can honestly proudly say that I've lifted beat where other machines couldn't work. The big advantage of the big six that is designed to be a six row, we get that good side shift so we can get away from the work. Another big advantage, the, the fuel consumption, we can improve the consumption if the conditions are good because we can actually run this machine on low rev. Where the older machines you had to you only had three choices, tick over, half throttle or flat out and that does make sort of up to 20, 25 litres an hour difference if that's good lifting conditions and you can run at say 1200 revs instead of 1600 that does make a difference because you've got the advantage of using 1600 revs for the extra go mm. to go in difficult conditions and we know that we carry a 20, genuine 28 tonnes because we've unloaded into a lorry many times before Another big advantage is the computer screen in the cab. We can do a lot of the we can a lot of the functions um, ourself, touch screen, and that is so simple to use. The um, the screen there's a lot of functions on there, very simple to use. Um, the um, cab is so much better on these new ones as well. And of course, this last this this year's model, we've got air condition with the weather we're having at the moment. That's quite quite comforting.